Yep, all the things we need first. That's a good idea. <laughs> hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm gonna be making cheesecake banana bread. Now I'm not a baker, I'm not a cook, I'm not any kind of fancy person like Kristen Johns, but I'm gonna attempt this because it looked really delicious and I was like, okay, I need to learn all the different things about cooking and baking and this is something that I really wanted to make so I'm gonna make it. So I've actually been getting better at cooking thanks to my husband who's sitting over there. <laughs> <laughs> um, but I haven't really tried baking a whole lot yet so I think that this is kind of like an easy-ish thing to try so I've been wanting to make this dish not I don't know dish is what you would call it cheesecake banana bread for a while now but the old the like one ingredient that I was missing was this buttermilk and I finally finally got it at the store yesterday actually Connor got it for me <laughs> because I just kept forgetting whenever I went to the store so I finally got it um, and I had made this mixture the other day. This is butter and sugar and I started making it realizing I didn't have the buttermilk and so I had to stop. So this has been on hold for like two days. <laughs> so this already is one half cup melted butter and then also three fourths cup sugar. So I'm going to be putting in the buttermilk, vanilla, one egg and mix it all together so something that was also cool was i was on instagram today and zai griswold she's also a military wife she's also making a banana bread but hers is pumpkin spice and so she just posted on her channel so if you guys want another option of banana bread i'll have her video in the description but this one is cheesecake which i'm super excited about that's my favorite dessert ever so um okay so need the buttermilk and an egg Okay guys, so before I get started, I'm really terrible at following directions. So I'm just gonna like try to pay a whole bunch of attention to what I'm doing while I'm also talking to you guys. One fourth cup buttermilk. Okay. I don't have a one fourth cup. Is one fourth less than one third? It is, right? Okay. Yeah. Okay, I'm just gonna do the one, I'm gonna use the one third. you. I'm going to follow these instructions exactly. I'm going to pay so much attention. Okay, so well, I'm not going to use a one fourth. I'm gonna because it's dirty and I don't want to clean it. I've already wasted so much time trying to make this. <laughs> so, I'm just make one fourth. That's probably one fourth. <laughs> and put it in this bowl. And then one teaspoon of pure vanilla extract one teaspoon okay oh it's not even open yet oh wait okay so you can see this is probably very dangerous okay and then one egg and egg yolk and mix until smooth. Pour wet ingredients over dry and stir. Then fold in mashed potatoes. Okay. This sugar stuff is actually very difficult and hard. So I got to break it up that I had previously done. Okay, so this was actually the second step that I was supposed to do because I started with this because I already had the sugar and butter mix, but the first step is to preheat the oven to 350 and butter and flour a three by, or a nine, why'd I say three? Nine by five loaf pan. <laughs> All right, got my nine by five loaf pan. I'm pretty sure my grandma gave this to me because she loves baking. I obviously did not get that gene, but I'm getting it right now and I'm gonna be a master of baking because I'm declaring that over myself. So, <laughs> preheat oven to 350, butter and flour, a three by five loaf pan. What does that mean? What does butter and flour lo a loaf pan at the bottom? Yeah. Does it say butter and flour the loaf pan? Yeah. So I guess just like at the bottom, like all around it. 
all around it. Yeah, uh, you want to make it not stick, or not the bread not stick. Oh, so okay. Put butter all around it and then sprinkle flour in it. Sprinkle flour, okay. Like a delicate woman. Like the delicate woman I am. Sprinkle flour. <laughs> Alright. So I only have this type of butter. So I'm just going to butter the sides with like this. I don't know if this is the right way to do it. But I'm going to do it like this. Just butter on the sides of the pan. If you are a baker and you're watching this video, I'm so sorry. You're probably like, wow, Britt, that's not how you do it. What is wrong with you? This is how we learn. This is how we grow and become better. <laughs> Gotta start somewhere. Sprinkle flour. Just on the bottom, right? Yeah. Well, no, all around it. Oh, all around it. Okay. Yeah, wherever the bread's going to touch. Like a delicate flour, a delicate flour. Hey, this is flour. All right, next. All right, next thing I need to do is in a large bowl is whisk together one cup flour, baking soda, and salt. So one cup flour, one cup flour, maybe a little bit, a little teeny more, little teeny more. Baking soda, which I needed one teaspoon baking soda. Didn't I already do baking soda then? No, I didn't teaspoon teaspoon okay make sure i get this right baking soda okay one teaspoon baking soda whisk together one cup flour baking soda and salt got my salt okay and whisk got this at michael's for a dollar got it on my phone in another large bowl combine, which I already did, the three-fourths sugar, melted butter, buttermilk, vanilla, one egg yolk, and then mix until smooth, which I still kind of need to do a little bit more. Um, pour wet ingredients over dry, so that over these ingredients, and stir until combined. Then fold in mashed bananas. Look at that. So wait, what did I say? I already forgot. Pour and stir until combined. Okay. So, let's show you guys. Okay, so this mixture is done. Wow, I'm a, oh. <laughs> I was about to say I'm a pro. <laughs> I'm not a pro, obviously. Okay, um, let's see. So then, mashed bananas. So I need three ripe bananas. So I have this one, which is extremely ripe. So I have these three ripe bananas. Okay, so maybe I'll mash the bananas in this bowl because I don't know how you normally mash bananas, but ooh, this one's mashing itself. <laughs> I could just like squeeze it out. Eww. Gross, 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 gross. That's when it's too ripe. So good thing I'm using these also. These are nice and regular ripe. So got my bananas and I'm going to use this fork. I don't know about you guys, but I think mashing bananas is so satisfying. <laughs> You're just like mashing them up. So I mashed the bananas, and next thing I need to do is make the cheesecake part. So make cream cheese filling in a small bowl. Small bowl. Stir remaining egg, so one egg. Oh wait, eggs are over here. Cream cheese. And I only need four ounces of cream cheese. So only half of this. Um, and remaining two tablespoons each flour and sugar. One, two, sugar, one, 
too. So assuming I mix this, I really hope I'm doing this right. <laughs> oh goodness. I'm getting an arm workout from all of this. All right, so I'm still mixing the cream cheese filling, but I'm gonna go ahead and put the um, uh, mashed bananas, couldn't remember the word, um, into the mixture that I am assuming is gonna be the bread. So I don't even remember what this mixture was, but I'm gonna mix these in here. Topple this in here. Phone's dead. I'm gonna ring the charger over here so you can. Um, are you reading the instructions off your phone? Yeah, I'm reading the instructions. My phone's gonna die. Okay. Wow, looks really good. Thanks. Looks like sand texture. I hope so. Okay. I don't think the ingredients call for it, but I think I'm going to add some uh, chocolate chips. Okay. Got some stuff on your shirt. Oh. Oh well. I'm leaving, baby. Okay. I love you. Love you. Bye. Bye. So the cream cheese is being a little bit finicky, and I have to like, there's like lots of chunks in here. So I'm trying to smooth them out before I pour anything. I should probably use a fork, actually. I'm using a spoon. Um, or like a little whisk thing, but um, it's just being like really difficult. So I'm like, Ugh, stir, 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 hurry up, hurry up. I think I'm gonna use a fork instead. So I'm gonna switch this out really quickly. But it's kind of good that this is taking a long time because my phone's technically, my phone's actually dead. So I don't even know what the next step is. So yeah, I can't really move on anyways. <laughs> um, but the fork is working a lot better to um, get this cream cheese to not be so um, thick, chunky, maybe that's the word, but yeah, y'all are probably all like, duh, Brittany, but I'm learning, okay, so just love me for who I am. <laughs> okay, here is the moment of truth, so I'm supposed to put the batter in this and then put the cheesecake fill filling on top and then put the remaining batter on top again. So that's what I'm gonna do. I really hope this works out. Pray for me. Okay, so when I put the um, banana bread at the top, um, it kind of mixed in with the cheesecake filling, so I probably should have put a little bit less on the bottom and more on the top. So we're, we'll see how this turns out because it's kind of mixed with each other. But yeah, so I have to put it in for one hour, let cool for 10 minutes. So I'll have it bake for one hour and then see what it looks like. So it's a little bit later and I spent some time hanging out with some friends, but I baked it and we had some of it and I thought it was really, really delicious and um, it didn't. So you know how I was telling you guys that it was kind of mixing on the top? Well, it actually like didn't mix on the top. It's like fully bread. Let me bring one of these out for you guys. So this is what it looks like. So. So yeah, mine's probably cold now, but Connor's is warm. Hot. Mm. I'm gonna put some butter on it. Mm -hmm. Tell me what you think. I will. We've already eaten so much of it. You have? Well, I had two pieces. Did they have any? Yeah, Amanda did. I gotta wait for cold down. Put there. some butter. Mmm, that's really good. 
Really good? Mm-hmm. That's dangerous. <laughs> it's not as cheesecakey as I thought it would be, right? It's not like Yeah, it's just a hint. Yeah, like I kind of wanted it to be like more cheesecakey, like fully cheesecake and not so much the bread, but that's just my expectations of what really wanting cheesecake. Uh, <laughs> but as like a banana bread, it's really, really good. Really, really good. I was wanting to toss in some chocolate chips, but I completely forgot. <laughs> but this turned out really good. If you guys want to check it out, um, I will have the ingredients for you linked in the description so you can try it. But super yummy. I love banana bread. This is the first time I've ever made banana bread, I think. Pretty yeah, sure. Yeah, it is. Right? Mm -hmm. I feel like I haven't made banana bread. I'm just like dreaming it that I did. Pretending that I did. But anyways, <laughs> um, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Hope you enjoyed a little baking with Brittany. Hey, baking with Brittany. <gasps> Cooking with Connor. Baking with Brittany. It's a thing. It's going to be a thing. Uh, all right, it's a thing. I'm deciding it's a thing. Um, so anyways, I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.